All right. Hello and welcome, everyone. So today we are going to be discussing all of the new arcanes together in the Angels of the Zaramon update. Uh, we obviously already have a video on Emergence Dissipate, and I'm not going to go super far into it. That arcane is very good. Please go check out the separate video for that. Uh, but what we are going to be doing today is going in order through the Molt Arcanes, the Warframe ones. The single fractalized arcane that we have, which is for our primary weapons, all three of the Cascadia arcanes for our secondaries, uh, and then all of the operator arcanes, including brief mention of Dissipate, uh, and talking about them and how good they are rated on your usual grading scale. So for that, let's just jump into this. Uh, the ratings are in, you know, just A to D, no S rank stuff, uh, just talking about how good these arcanes are or not. First and foremost, let's talk about the Molt Arcane. So, Molt Arcanes are pretty solid overall. I think that these are both very good. Uh, we have Molt Vigor, which is uh, on Operator Ability, 45% Ability Strength on Next War from Ability Cast. This is a large amount of Ability Strength to get, and it is very on demand, as casting Operator Abilities is not difficult. Uh, it's extremely easy. It's always available. You can make this happen whenever you want, and the ability to have... 45% strength just on demand is truly excellent. In addition, if you are someone who is still just using Xenric, whenever you go to pop your bubble for Xenric, you can get that 20% strength from using the new Xenric upgrade. And this will go on top of that. So you can get 65 strength if you are on Xenric just from your operator. And if you're on Matarai, which can give 40% strength, that's 85% strength you can get just from using your operator. And that's an intense amount. That basically makes it so that a bunch of Warframes can build differently by using their arcane slots to get their strength and their operator to get their strength that they need. Uh, and it's extremely useful. So this very easily, just right off the bat here, this just gets an A from me. Uh, tons of Warframes want to utilize this. You have like Chroma, Valkyr likes it, but doesn't need it. Um, Mesa and any Warframe that wants strength and could always use more is a fan of this arcane unless they are already like having to use uh energize and another arcane that is specific to them uh like mesa mesa you probably want to keep energize on her just for the consistency of your energy although that might change with the other arcane that we're going to be talking about later of course dissipate is insane um but yeah full vigor this is a very very solid arcane that i can see myself using for a long long time bolt efficiency is in a similar boat but not quite the same so at max rank this is while shields are active gain six percent ability duration per second up to a maximum of 36 percent so this is still very good i think that this is a very solid arcane and if you absolutely want the most duration imaginable you're definitely going to go for this because 36 percent is not a small amount but I really wish that this was matched with uh, Molt Vigor, where we could get to 45%. 45% feels like a lot nicer. I know it's only like, you know, 9% more, uh, but I think it makes it feel a lot more worth it. And it could even be higher than that because the condition on this is more difficult. Obviously, it's more difficult depending on what frame you are, because if you're, you know, Loki or Ash or whatever, then your shields going down is pretty unusual, and you're mostly going to be getting that full 36%. But... The fact that it can go down at all, as opposed to this, which is just always on demand, is a significant downplay uh, for this arcane. If it was as easy to use as this one, I think that it would very easily get just a solid A, or if even if it was just a higher number. Like, if we were looking at this being 50%, then I think the condition would be very fair, and you'd see this used a ton, just because that's a lot of duration to be adding. Uh, but... Overall, I think this is just a little bit worse, and I would put this at about a B rating. Still very good, still going to see use in some cases, uh, especially whenever you just need that little bit more duration to maybe get your efficiency on a channeled ability to max, uh, but very good overall. I think it's going to be solid for a number of different frames that can keep their shields active uh, for either longer periods of time or to snapshot this duration. Moving on, we're going to talk about our single fractalized uh, arcane. This arcane is not good obviously i don't have it maxed but what this is is on ability cast 240 percent reload speed for five seconds this is terrible the competition in this category is merciless deadhead and dexterity and all three of them are better just getting reload speed is 
kind of nothing compared to the incredible amount of damage, like just 360% damage plus reload speed, getting 30% reload speed and 100% ammo maximum. Like, it's just better. If you need this much reload speed, it probably means that the weapon you're using isn't very good. Like, that's usually where we end up with it. Uh, or if the weapon is so good as to justify the reload speed, you're going to be better off using a reload speed mod on the weapon and then still just using Merciless or just using Deadhead for the headshot multiplier, less recoil, all, all, all of this business. The other primary arcanes are just better than this. If you have nothing else, will you use this? I mean, you can, but by the time you're on the Zaramon, I would hope you're looking to go get at least these other primary arcanes, and you're almost certainly not going to have a maxed one of this arcane before you'd have a maxed one of the others. So I kind of see no point uh, in this arcane existing whenever it doesn't really add damage. So this is easily a, just a D. There's no, there's no reason to get it at the point in the game where you'd have it. It's not going to be used. Seems bad to me. Uh, definitely needs a lot more text on this arcane in order to get any use out of it moving on to the secondary arcanes though there are a few differences here uh this is going to be all of the cascadias uh these are overall i think these are going to be nichely useful uh cascadia empowered is the one that i think overall is the worst we're going to talk about it first uh so this is on status effect deals a plus 750 damage matching the damage type of the status effect so Here's the problem with this arcane. The problem with this arcane is that the only thing that affects that 750 damage are the Bane mods. So like your anti grenier anti-corpus, etc. mods. Those will affect and increase this damage. But without this damage um, being, you know, applied to like your like serration type effects and so on and so forth, it's just not enough damage to be relevant, like plain and simple. Like if you're looking at applying, let's say, 100 heat procs to an enemy, that's only 75,000 damage that you're going to be getting out of this arcane. And that's kind of nothing. If you take that 75,000 and then you start applying serration and the elemental bonuses and all this other like stuff to it, then you end up in a really solid place. But without that, there's just not enough damage coming out of this in order for you to reasonably use it, especially whenever you have the other two Cascadia mods to contend with, even if you're not talking about your secondary mercilesses and deadheads and such. So... This overall, I think it's like a C. Uh, I think there's like, this is, this is a good idea, and there's adjustments to it that could be made that would make this, you know, very impactful and I think very good. But as it stands right now, I just don't think it's there. Cascadia Overcharge, however, is pretty good. This is Wall Over Shields Active plus 300% critical chance. Now, the initial release for this arcane was going to be stellar. Stellar, fantastic, and a number of different Warframes that can keep Overshields active all the time because. Uh, initially, this was equipable just straight to Warframes, uh, and you could have that plus 300% critical chance affect all of your guns if you could keep Overshields active. And that is very, very good, because that would include things like Mesa's 4 and, you know, you know Valkyr's 4 and so on and so forth, and this would see very, very wide use. I think this would be excellent. As it stands, I think this is okay, and it might see some niche use in... Uh, situations where you're not going to be able to stack up your other secondary arcanes because when you can't stack up merciless you're not getting much out of it right whenever we're looking uh at like um secondary merciless we're looking at you know with no stacks you're looking at 30 percent reload speed and 100 percent ammo maximum well plus 300 percent critical chance absolutely can beat those stats do i think it's going to beat fully stacked up merciless no but in the situation where you're not going to get fully stacked Merciless, or you're only going to get like maybe two or three stacks, I think the Cascadia Overcharge makes a good case for itself in order to be like a boss-killing arcane. Similarly, uh, also for Cascadia Overcharge, I think that this is like a nice B. Uh, it's like very, you know, very niche, and it's going to see use sometimes, but in those sometimes, I think it's going to be very useful. Similarly, though, we have Cascadia Accuracy. So this is extremely similar but considerably more restrictive on roll plus 300 percent critical chance on headshots for four seconds do i think that this can be similarly useful to cascadia overcharge because they are essentially the same effect except for this doesn't need any overshield so there's no like defensive properties you need to keep track of but you do need to get headshots 
I think that there, it may be the case. It really depends on what warframes need to be used in whatever content comes up that is particular uh, to this. Also, the enemy that you're fighting needs to have a head for you to shoot, and the head has to be the right place to shoot them, though. So all of those things coming in together makes Cascadia Accuracy, I think, a much rougher proposition, as I think it's a lot easier, and it's going to be more common to be in a position where you need to get over shields in order to get a lot more damage and you have you know you just need to shoot whatever weak point not necessarily get headshots headshots are pretty specific i think and it's going to be unfortunate for cascadia accuracy so i think that this is not really you know it's not like a c but it's definitely like a b minus like if cascadia overcharge is a b this is definitely a minus as it's going to be a lot harder to get into that particular situation but in that particular situation i think it's probably going to be quite good obviously niche though moving on we have our operator arcanes to talk about okay for the operator arcanes we're going to talk about our emergences first with dissipate being last uh so in terms of our emergence arcanes uh we have emergence renewed and this is the worst of the bunch by far i think so obviously i don't have this max but it's at rank four uh, on energy depleted increase energy regeneration by 300 percent over five seconds and it has a 30 second cooldown so here's the thing this pretty much doesn't matter uh this is not energy regeneration for like your warframe this is energy regeneration for your operator and it's just plain and simple not very good uh there are so many better arcanes than this uh and there's really just no reason to run this I would have much much rather seen this be similar to emergent savior which we're going to talk about in a second as if you just on energy depleted restored your entire energy and then that had a cooldown of 30 seconds like you basically got a whole energy tank Metroid style I think that this could actually have some use cases in some certain situations but as it stands you still have to wait for the energy and at the point where you're waiting what if instead you weren't what if instead you had a better arcane or a more helpful arcane for just like more situations I don't think that there's much reason to equip this especially because you're going to have access to better arcane sooner even something like husk which is just more survivability for your operator I think is going to be better than this so this is unfortunately I think a D emergent savior somewhat similar this is on lethal damage become invulnerable for five seconds and recover 60 percent health cool down 90 seconds now once again this is unfortunately for your operator for anyone that's used the operator and had it had them die uh you just go back to your warframe and obviously there's transference static stuff to deal with now but I have not really had a big problem with transference static um so that killing my frame hasn't really been a big deal it is definitely a more of a danger but this arcane I don't think does enough to justify itself if this arcane was one I could equip on my operator and then this effect applied to my warframe as kind of a get out of jail free card I think I would be way into it because you know every once in a while you know you get caught not paying attention you get surprised and something happens and you would die every 90 seconds or so being able to just be like nope instead that mistake didn't happen would be pretty good but that for your operator just isn't really significant at all uh, so this overall, I just don't think is very good. I think it's just, you know, probably better off just to equip more HP onto your operator. So you get more like regen from Vazarin and so on and so forth. Uh, so yeah, not fantastic overall. I think this one's also a D. I might be being a little hard on it. And uh, maybe, you know, some way, somewhere in the future, we're going to have content that we absolutely need this for. Uh, but I don't really foresee that happening. So it's a D for me now on the complete opposite end of the spectrum obviously it's equipped right now and I don't see it being unequipped anytime soon we have dissipate I have a whole video on this so we're just going to talk about how insane it is real quick uh press left click the fire button to dissipate the endpoint while in void sling in a 10 meter radius enemies have a 100 percent chance to create a short-lived void moat that replenishes 10 energy on pickup so this can generate a ton of energy especially in steel path and like high density environments for enemies you can just fill yourself up primed flow just fill it all the way up and make it work even for warframes that have traditionally been like basically unusable due to their absolutely tremendously awful energy economies like Valkyr with using this you can make it happen 
even in like you know less spawn heavy environments like void cascade for example this can make it work even if you're only using this on like two or three enemies like those very tiny groups of enemies whenever you're really low on spawns three enemies if you do this three times that's 90 energy so this mx rank is absolutely insane uh this is a plus there's no like you're going you should have this this is something that you definitely want if you're going to go through and rank up uh the zaramon cruise rep get to max rank get emergence dissipate max it out it's way easier to get than energize and i think in some situations it's going to be better uh this is i think a new staple and it's incredible moving on we have one last arcane to talk about and that last arcane is eternal eradicate so this one's very simple this is on operator ability plus 60 percent damage two amps for eight seconds this is good like baseline plus 60 percent damage can't argue with that the it's just it's just it's just damage it is uh as far as i've seen it is additive with void strike so you're not getting the plus a thousand percent damage from void strike and then this being plus 60 as a multiplicative bonus making it 1600 percent which would be insane and very much not needed um it is instead you know the uh 1060 percent but when you're not using void strike this is an extremely solid arcane just raw plus 60 percent damage to amps works on every single amp is very generic no matter what amp you like to use very very powerful also with the announcement from de for the upcoming zaramon 1.1 update uh, we might be getting two amp slots and i think that there's no question for me at all that i will be using eradicate plus either strike or shadow depending on what type of content i'm doing shadow is obviously for eidolons uh but strike is very very good generically and i think both of them pair well with eradicate which is also just very very generic and good and pairs well with both of them so if you can get your hands on eradicate for your operator fantastic if you can get your hands on eradicate plus one of these that's going to be stellar too but i think either way and no matter what there's a place for eradicate to be used and for that reason i think that it is definitely just an a quality arcane that you want to have a setup so yeah that is uh what's up with all of the arcanes and uh yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh the new arcane sets I think overall very happy with it we got you know like there's three a rank arcanes three b rank arcanes three d rank arcanes and one in c rank uh and I think that's you know that's a pretty fair spread we got like six arcanes that I think are going to be pretty useful uh or will you know like see use in specific areas and be a little bit niche and then only a few stinkers uh so it's really not too bad uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video uh I should be should be live tonight over on twitch.tv slash brozyme so come hang out don't know what we're doing tonight but come hang out always welcome to ask questions about Warframe and such and I will see you then goodbye